All right, so we just fixed a little problem with this sound system. Had the remote wire stretched out and broken, wouldn't turn back on. It was a pretty easy fix. It's all done. I'm gonna go ahead and fix that on the house. But in exchange, we get to put it on the amp dyno. All right, so we got one kicker 12 powered by an audio tech amp. AT600M, 1200 watt max. I don't know what they call for RMS on this amp, but let's just say that 600 would be a fair number. I'll look it up in the book and see real quick. But we're gonna put it on the dyno and see how much power it actually puts out. You ready, man? Ready. You ready to know the truth? No. Ah, you think it's gonna do them? Well, let's, let's get on the computer and find out how much power it puts out first. Welcome to Amp Test Tuesday. All right, so here we are on the internet, and I've looked high and low and all over the place, and I cannot find nothing except a picture of it. So, Audio Tech 1200 watt amplifier, monoblock, two ohm stable, 600 amp. If you can find more info on it, let me know. Let's just go ahead and say that this thing should do 600 watts, 1200 watt max amp should usually do about half its power in RMS but we'll find out right now All right, so we set the gains with the SMD DD1 only because he's got high high output coming off the deck going to the stock speakers and RCA is going to this amp. So I wanted to match them up really well. Uh, so that's already done. It's time to do some testing. Certified mode. Up to 1% distortion. We're just going to go... Two ohms. Go ahead and unpause track four. Seventy seven watts. Matter of fact, you know what? Look at his voltage. His voltage is low. Go ahead and start your car. Let's do that again. All right, so that was with the car almost all the way dead. This time we're gonna do it with it running. So, certified. I had to switch cameras. That one wasn't showing the screen very well. So let's do that again. Uh, 14 volts, car's running. Go ahead and unpause it. Certified 128. All right. Track four, uh, back it off and pause it, please. Okay, unpause. Uncertified up to clipping. One forty six. Now let's give this the benefit of the doubt. And we're going to go dynamic RMS. Enter. Enter. Track one and pause, please. Let 
Volume 32. Ready when you are, unpause it. All right, so not quite 1200 watts, but it does say 1200 watts max. So they weren't trying to fake it off as RMS, but still you would think it would do at least half of its peak. So it doesn't do 600, it doesn't do 1200. It does about 150 in the best case scenario. All right, Jaber, what's the verdict on the Audio Tech 1200 times <laughs> one or 600 times one or whatever it's supposed to be? Did they, it pass? They, uh, they should have named it like 150 times one. There you go, man. They should have. They called it the 150 times one. We wouldn't even be having this conversation. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So people think I'm over here trying to dog on their amp. I ain't. Just call it what it is and no one will say a word. So I got an idea since you know, we're not just going to go after the cheap amp. We're going to go after Rockford Fosgate's cheapest amp, which is the Prime Series. And when I say cheap, I don't mean cheap like garbage. I mean their lowest line, like the more affordable stuff. So this is what I got on the bench. This is a Rockford 750 times one, and it's a Prime amp. So let's get his shit all hooked back up, and then we'll test this one just to show you the difference.